Hello Neo developers, Burma's here. I just wanted to do a video to quickly explain some of the changes that have been made to the City of Zion Neo GUI developer branch. Uh, most of the features revolve around making the supply of parameters to a smart contract simpler. So I'll just quickly take you through the invocation of a couple of contracts. Uh, major redesign of the invoke contract dialog. Uh, we have a, an address book that we've added. Um, basically keeps a record of any smart contracts that you've interacted with in the past. Um, simple calculator example. Uh, documentation is in my GitHub, uh, but the parameters are very simple. You supply a byte array, uh, and in this case I'm going to add. Uh, the other option would be to sub. Um, and we can see when we perform a test invocation that the notifications from the smart contract are coming through into my event log and we can see that 16 and 32 has been added successfully and I could just as easily have performed a subtraction on that operation. So great. Uh, so taking you through the parameters, I've deployed another contract which essentially allows you to test the different parameters are being sent correctly. Uh, so what you'll notice here is that any contract parameter that has been defined while you're deploying, in this case we've specified 05 for a byte array, is going to be highlighted in red and is a required field. Um, so I have the option, my smart contract supports the boolean integer byte array so we're essentially just providing a string here letting the smart contract know what i'm sending it so i'll start with a boolean uh, the params array if anybody's run through the tutorial she would have noticed that most of the smart contracts allow you to specify a string or whatever you choose and but an optional parameters array uh, the source code for this will be on my GitHub. I'll link that in the YouTube description. Uh, so what we're essentially doing here is filling out this optional argument array with this params array object. So simply double click, uh, specify a boolean, so that's what I'm going to send. We'll send a true. I'll just move that so we can see the event log come through. And when I test, I've received a callback from the contract saying boolean value one, great. Uh, we can just as easily switch that back to false and I'd expect to see nothing or false, great. Uh, we obviously support most of the other types of arguments. I'll do 17 because you'll see that it is actually uh, hex encoded. Uh, we can also support array, um, which essentially allows us to rid of that. Add an array within an array. And you can add more parameters to that. Obviously your smart contract will need to support that. Uh, the one that I've deployed to the testnet does not support arrays within arrays at the moment. Uh, probably one of the other cool features is that we have some basic validation of what we're supplying. So uh, in this case, we'll get a hash, one six, hash 160, which would be the uh, smart contract address. And 
we're doing some basic validation on these fields so if you stuff it up you're going to get at least some feedback that that's actually what you've done and the same goes for uh, any of the other verifiable types hash 256 our public key um, that's pretty much it uh, if you have any comments suggestions um, let us know in the slack develop channel or post a youtube comment thanks for your time